So we're making a standard six-sided board game die here. There are numbers one through six represented by dots. So I've already have the uh, one side done right here. Now I'm gonna work on the two side. And of course I need two dots. I'm gonna put them diagonally here, one in the upper uh, corner and the other in the opposite lower corner. Instead of just making a second circle on this plane, which you can totally do, what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna make a copy. So we're going to move copy. Now you have to choose what you want to move. You do need to select the circle, not just the center of the circle, but the actual circle. And before I start moving it, I have to do the create copy, otherwise it's just a move. So I'm gonna move it to the right and move it down and then hit enter. You can also type in values if you want to. Now I have two copies right here. Now when it comes to extrusion, I want you to play around a little bit with uh, extruding the face versus the edge and there is a difference there's a face and an edge right here they'll have different effects if you extrude and don't worry about messing up you can always undo right here a couple times and you can also do Control z on your keyboard i don't really like this white background right here so i'm going to mess around with the display style a little bit and i'm going to go to environment you can try out all of these uh, i like the gray room the best at least for my eyes, it wasn't too uh, bright and dark at the same time in different places. You also can change your camera. Orthographic's great for certain things, but looking at orthographic things too long for me uh, just makes my brain unhappy. So I am going to go to perspective for uh, when I'm working here. And you can set plenty of other options here, but at least for me, that makes it look a lot nicer. There's two types of extrusions. This uh, solid extrusion is how I pushed in the circles here. There's a surface extrusion, which is what we used on the stamp, which is how you would turn a two-dimensional uh, cutout or, or design into a three-dimension. So what we're doing here is extruding in the solid option. Now, I'm about to apply some fillets here, but we have some weird things going on. What is happening is I'm selecting, accidentally selecting the dot on the other face around the corner. So in display settings, you can go visual style. Depending what you're doing, some of these are better than others. If I go wireframe, it's super obvious why I'm selecting the one on the other side. And now here I could rotate to a way that may let me select those easier. Actually, maybe the only reason I didn't want to do head on is because I actually have to select both uh, the front and the back circle for this fillet right here. So now I can go circle, circle, I'm holding control, circle, circle. You can actually do them all at one time if you want to. And this way I get a little more fine control, type in my whatever my fillet is, and you can check it out. I'm going to go right back to shaded, the pretty one, uh, and then there's my design right there, and I haven't, I think there's some more I have to do. But yeah, there's my die and uh, it's coming along. So we have a little timeline of all the steps I took here. And I made my original fillet too, the radius was too big. So later on when I had, uh, I think my six sided phase is where I ran into trouble. I couldn't do a five millimeter fillet anymore because the adjacent dots were hitting each other and they don't let you perform a fillet that runs into an adjacent uh, piece of geometry. So I did a five millimeter fillet here and I want to, I could undo everything, but that would be a horrible thing to do. So I'm going to right click. First of all, make sure it's the right fillet. This is the fillet I used on the edge of the original box. Here's the fillet I used on this uh, right here. Nope. Here's the fillet. Right click. You can go to edit. And oh, it looks like it already is two millimeters. Okay. Already was the right size. Uh, but that's how you can go and uh, change. Maybe I want to modify it so it does completely go to zero, for example, which would be the same as undoing it. I can change this uh, radius very easily right here to whatever I need to. So you can, without necessarily undoing things, you can go back and change some things you did in the past. Obviously, if I delete my original cube, uh, I'll have a lot of trouble. Or, well, you can see exactly how I did it. I built the base, then I extruded that, etc., etc., etc. All right. 